First of all, it's a national shrine from today. It means that any time you come in, you bring not just your own personal feelings, uh, necessities, uh, will to praise the Lord, ask for special uh, graces, not just for your parish, not just for your diocese, but also an intention of prayer for your country. And this is very important. It's a national, it means that uh, as a country, as a people, we have to answer the call of God. This is a plan of God and the fulfillment of a dream by a Lasalet priest, Father Fred Julian, MS, who survived the Second World War, particularly against the Japanese Imperial Army. During the first battle between the Japanese and the Americans with the Filipino guerrillas in 1945, Father Julian, with other internees, lay flat on the ground praying the rosary, thinking that some of them would die. He made a promise to the Blessed Virgin Mary, and he said, I promise Our Lady of Lazaret to erect a shrine in her honor should she help me survive. In 1961, this 16 hectares of land was bought by the Lazaret Fathers. Here, brothers Armand Fredet and Andrew Mahian grew vegetables and fruit trees. Father Julian moved in with the brothers to help plan the shrine. A life-size statue of our weeping mother was finished on September 10, 1968. This year, 2018, is the 50th anniversary of this church, now a national shrine. What a special grace of God that this church is solemnly declared with this title. Many Catholics who are not very familiar with Our Lady of Lazaret are asking me, what is the message of the Blessed Virgin Mary in Lazaret? On September 19, 1846, the two missionaries, Maximin Jerome and Melanie Calvat, who saw the beautiful lady weeping bitterly, describe her as sitting with her elbows resting on her knees and her face buried in her hands. She was clothed in a white robe studded with pearls and a gold-colored apron like what you see here in the image of Our Lady. White shoes and roses about her feet and high headdress. Around her neck, she wore a crucifix suspended from a small chain. According to their account, she continued to weep even as she spoke to them, first in French, then in their own dialect of Oshitan. After giving a secret to each child, the apparition walked up a hill and vanished. The message of Our Lady of Lazaret focuses on the conversion of all humanity to Christ. The spirit of Lazaret is said to be one of prayer, conversion, and commitment. The Blessed Virgin does not want us to be doing things which displeased her son, Jesus. Blessed Mother weeps whenever we disrespect God and commit sin. The Blessed Mother becomes unhappy whenever she sees us, her children, so preoccupied with worldly things 
with worldly pleasure and neglecting our prayers, especially the Holy Eucharist, and not doing good deeds, especially for the poor. So, anytime you come in at the very personal level, ask yourself, am I using the hammer to put another nail in the body of Jesus or I am taking out a thorn from his crown and so anytime you come in look at the image and look if Mary is smiling at you or weeping at you if he's weeping starting from now from today let us say Mary Help me to change. Help me to be a new person. Help me to be at last disciple of your son who loved me so much. And this will be the biggest miracle. The joy of the faith, the joy of the love of God in our life. This national shrine should be a haven a place where anyone of us, poor sinners, can experience the grace of reconciliation with God, especially in the sacrament of reconciliation or confession. This national shrine of Our Lady of Lasselet should always be a living witness of the mercy of God. We repeatedly sang, in the responsorial psalm, the Lord is merciful to every creature. Yes, we heard in the responsorial psalm, the Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in love. The Lord is good to all, compassionate to every creature. Hindi lamang ang Diyos ang mahabagin at mapagpatawad. Tayo din ay dapat maging mapagpatawad at mahabagin sa isa't isa. The Holy Father Pope Francis said, Jesus affirms that mercy is not only an action of the Father, it becomes a criterion for ascertaining who His children are. In short, we are called to show mercy because mercy has first been shown to us. Our Lord Jesus Christ is asking us not only to be forgiving and merciful to others, but also to give. He is inviting us to be generous with others knowing that God showers His goodness upon us with immense generosity. O daughter, you are blessed by the Most High God above all other women on earth. And blessed be the Lord God who created the heavens and the earth. May the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Lazaret, refuge of sinners and Mother of Reconciliation, embrace all of us with her maternal love always. Amen.